Game week 32, a three horse race, all three teams playing away from home. Who's going to be on top? Stay tuned till the very end as we find out all their results. Well, hello, hi guys, welcome back to the Football Showdown channel. I'm Suchi with a fresh new video and today we are going to predict the Game Week 32 predictions for all the top six teams. Today I have a special guest as well who will be helping me uh, predict games. I will uh, incorporate his videos as soon as I give my prediction so stay tuned till the very end. And as always, if you guys are not subscribed yet, I'm on the way to hit 500 subscribers as soon as possible. So if you're not subscribed, do do keep subscribing, do keep liking all my content, do keep commenting as well because that is how we build a community. But if you guys are already subscribed, thank you so so much for supporting me, for subscribing, for liking and for commenting as well because we've been building a community. I hope we grow it uh, as big as possible and as soon as possible. And like I said, this is a prediction video so let's get to it right now. The first game of the top six. Crystal Palace vs Manchester City. Now Manchester City had a dull game against Arsenal but when they played against Aston Villa they have come out with a formation that many many teams were very very familiar with that looked very similar to the one that they have employed last season. That could be the template moving uh, from here on where they face Madrid in the UCL that could be the template from the remaining uh, Premier League run-in that they have. Now Crystal Palace are coming off a loss against Bournemouth. It was a 1-0 win to Bournemouth. I have not seen the game but I have seen the stats, I have seen the highlights, it looked like it was a fairly close game but we don't really know until you watch the game uh, properly. But looking at the form that City are in and the new template that they found or the old template that they are employing this season, I think it will be a fairly easy game for City. I think it will be a, a, a game with not many goals but I think it will be a comfortable win for City. I think it will be a 0-2. Zero 0-2. Two, zero two. Uh, to Manchester City. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section and what does my guest think. Hey guys, I'm Shivam Vatra and my friend and your host Suchit asked me to give my prediction for Match Week 32 uh, for all the top 6 teams. So here's, here we're gonna start. Uh, the first one on my screen is Crystal Palace versus Man City. Uh, I think it's gonna be an easy win for Man City. I don't think so. Crystal Palace can cause much uh, disruption to Man City. The next game is the Arsenal game. It is against Brighton. Arsenal are travelling to Brighton and playing at the Amex. Now Brighton almost did really really well against Liverpool when they went to Anfield. But Anfield being Anfield and Liverpool being Liverpool, I think they have gotten a good result against Brighton because Brighton are a team that will cause problems to the teams in the top half of the table or in the top six or even uh, teams that are there in the title race presently. Now Arsenal have rotated uh, fairly good enough against uh, Luton but I am sure that majority of those rotated players will not play against Brighton at the Amex. I think from that team you could probably expect only Partey and Reese to start. So not not Reese. I think only Partey and Smith Rowe to start. I genuinely don't think uh, Zinchenko will start either. I do not think even Tommy Asu will start. Uh, I mean, to be honest, even Tommy Asu has not started uh, the game against Luton. So Arsenal will be traveling to Brighton. Arsenal need to get a result against Brighton to make sure that they stay in the title running. What do I think about the result? I think it will be a tough game for Arsenal. Because Brighton are a team that will cause problems to every other team that they face. Sometimes uh, it could be a problem where Brighton will win the game, but I don't think this time will be the uh, will be the thing. Arsenal will get a win at the Amex. I think it will be a hard-fought two-nil victory at, at 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 Amex. What does my guest think? Um, then uh, Arsenal versus Brighton. I do think uh, Brighton have been very on and off uh, for the. Uh, past few weeks and uh, Aston can easily go and 2-0 and 3-0 uh, this Brighton team easy peasy. The next game, a fairly important game for both teams, Manchester United versus Liverpool. Now this game is properly poised like United do need to get these three points to make sure that they are in the, to in the top four race. United are yet to play Chelsea, I am recording this video before the Chelsea game so I do not know what is uh, United's situation. Uh, after the Chelsea game, but we're going to talk about it how it is right now. 
Now United drop points against Brentford. Do they do need to get a victory as soon as possible? That could be against Chelsea. I do not know. If it is not Chelsea, then definitely, definitely they do need to get the three points against Liverpool as they're playing at Old Trafford. Now Liverpool. Now for Liverpool, this is a very, very, very tricky game because last time Liverpool travelled to Old Trafford, they've lost in the most dramatic way possible. When United travelled to the Anfield as well. People have predict- predicted that it's going to be another 3-0 victory to uh, Liverpool or minimum 5-0 victory to Liverpool. But it was just a nil-nil uh, game. Now Liverpool are yet to play this game week but I think we can all assume that it's going to be a win as they are playing in Sheffield. N- not much to sweat on. I don't think as a City or an Arsenal fan you're going to assume that, City, uh, uh, that Liverpool are going to drop points against Sheffield. But what City and Arsenal fans could hope for is that United do a favour to them. That is by winning or making sure that Liverpool drop points. It's a three horse race, anything can happen. But to be very very honest, I do not think United have it in them to get a victory over Liverpool again. But I think United have enough in them to make sure that they don't want Liverpool to get, uh, get away with another Premier League. So I think they have enough fire in the belly to make sure that uh, Liverpool can drop points. Do I think United will win again? I do not think so. I think it's all more visual thinking. But I think it is highly, highly possible that United could get a draw against Liverpool. My my predictions are a 1-1. I do not know if United have it in them to get uh, more than one goal or have it in them to uh, score many goals for them to win. So my prediction is a draw. In a draw as well, uh, you know, I wouldn't say what what I cut or whatever I've said before. I'll just keep it as a draw. What does my guest think? Um, then the another game blockbuster for the weekend. Uh, it's Madrid versus Liverpool. Uh, it's going to be interesting. And as an Arsenal fan, I do hope it's a one-one draw. Um, even though uh, in my gut it says Liverpool gonna win this. Uh, I still believe for a draw. The next game is probably the most shittiest game and I do not want to spend too much time on it. It is Sheffield United versus Chelsea where Chelsea are travelling to Sheffield United's uh, ground. Now, Chelsea have dropped to a 10-man Burnley team. Uh, Honestly, could it be more embarrassing than that? I do not think so. But I think Sheffield... (laughs) If Sheffield could get some points of Chelsea... It's that Chelsea, like a billion dollar Chelsea to a not so uh, invested uh, Sheffield. I think if Sheffield get some points against Chelsea, they, this could be the most uh, embarrassing thing that, I, that could have happened to Chelsea and its fans. But let's be honest, I do not think Chelsea will drop points against Sheffield. Like Sheffield somehow had it in them to score three goals against Fulham, but yeah, they did bottle it by, uh, by, by letting Fulham score against them. It, it was a 3-3 in the end. So, um, you know what, just for banter's sake, just for being uh, adventurous, I will predict a Sheffield win. I'm going to predict a, a 2-1 victory to Sheffield. It could be something else, I do not know. Uh, it could be funny if that is the truth, but I do not think it will be. But just for banter's sake, I think it will be a 2-1 victory to Sheffield. What does my guest think? Next game, Sheffield United versus Chelsea. Uh, I do think Chelsea, even after the bad form, they can win this 1-0, 2-0, they can. Last and finally, Tottenham versus Forest. Now, Tottenham have gotten a good victory in the, in this present game week. They need to keep maintaining that run as they want to secure their, their fourth position. Aston Villa have dropped points against City. Spurs are on on a good ride on getting those three points to make sure that they solidify the fourth position. Now, Forest are on the, on the other hand, Forest need to get three points as soon as possible so that they can secure their position in the Premier League next season. Now, United uh, Forest have good history. They've, they're probably uh, Premier League royalty some years back, but that is not going to save them from relegation. Forest, could you get another victory against Spurs? Probably. Spurs could pull off another Spurs moment. That is always on the card. There is no way you can write uh, Spurs from pulling off another Spurs moment. But I think uh, Ange and Spurs could pull off a victory where they where they almost secure the fourth position. But you know what? 
I'm an Arsenal fan. I'm not going to say that uh, you know. I, I'm not going to say that Spurs are going to have it easy. I feel it will be a draw. I think Forest will get those crucial points off Spurs. I think it will be a draw. What does my guess think? Let then uh, Spurs versus Forest. Uh, Forest are fighting hard for relegation, and uh, we all know how much trouble can those teams can cause. Um, and Tottenham just drew uh, last night to West Ham, and so I do think. Uh, Forest can cause some trouble on the counter. Otherwise, it could be uh, either it's a three nil uh, win for Spurs or it's a one one draw. Again, very different, different. Uh, I don't, I cannot decide about. I cannot decide on this. Okay, that's my predictions and thank, thank you, Sujit. Thank you, Sujit, for having me. Well, there you have it, guys. Those are our predictions. Let us know in the comment section what you guys think about all of it. Uh, do you disagree with us? Do you agree with us? Do you think we are missing some points? Do let us know in the comment section. Again, if you guys are uh, have not yet subscribed to the channel, please, please do keep subscribing to the channel. Do keep liking all the comment uh, or do keep liking all the posts. Do keep commenting as well because that is how we build a community. And if you guys are already subscribed, I can't tell you enough how much I really appreciate you guys from supporting me when I was still in my 40 subscribers or 20 or 30 or like 10 to even now. Thank you so, so much. I will see you guys soon in a new video. Uh, you know what? I'm going to record with a Bayern fan. That is all I'm going to say. So until then, good night, good morning, good evening to wherever you are in the world. Until then, peace.